Uh, show me his CAD. Oh, I think I went... Like that. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. super excited about this story because like every artwork we're doing we're trying to like have that marbleizing texture in it we actually have like two artwork that doesn't have it just in case everything fails <laughs> the, the backup print okay, the backup print i'm just doing one dress so far which has like panels on it mm -hmm. so going for yeah. it my team is incredible. They have um, a gift, a talent that's in their category like way better than I am. So it's a conversation how we work. Like they show me what they like, I show them what I like, but I love um, seeing what they come back with. I, um, I'm very proud of my team. You always have one more thing, love, Kesh. <laughs> We're gonna send you some commercial styles. Uh, and we have a little bit more time, like a few more days for those. Not a lot, but a few more days. Pre-fall and fall, they're the worst seasons. And even though we start early, it's always a run against time. The still livers, beginning of summer, so it's actually the lightest, summeriest clothes we create. I've been marbleizing my smoothie all summer and I kept thinking about like, how can I make this into fashion. I started talking to Joe about working together and it was kind of like an organic progress how it all happened. So it's about sort of creating this like base layer of colors and then using the roller continuously throughout multiple paintings to really gather up tons and tons of layers. Like this yellow coming through, I think it's like super interesting. This kind of, it reminds you, if you sort of like half close your eyes, it kind of feels like a sunrise. And you have this kind of like natural line that's originating here underneath. I think it's just kind of like trusting in that something's gonna generate itself out of nothing. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so Laura is the first one to start the collection. The one who's developing all the prints, uh, all the artworks, and that's usually where all the inspiration is coming from. Got this up on the wall so you could see like a finished piece. Um, but again, just like the layering and the, the stratification that comes with tons and tons of paint on the roller, repetition, you know, consistently pulling and pulling um, over one another. Um, it almost looks like marbleizing here. I love it's that. It's wild, isn't it? And it is like summer prints. I do want to keep like the little bit, uh, making sure it's like a light print. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any yellow? I think we're missing yellow now I'm looking at it. Yeah, we can definitely yeah. we can make up some yellow. You know, this season's called pre-fall, but it's actually summer clothes. But I love these colors, but that might not be like 100% on brand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I always like try to do things a little bit off brand. Like, I love like these three together. Like some section will be mm. like very mm. contrasting. The white's always like really nice to mix mm. in. So 
so pretty with the orange mm -hmm. splashes. It's cool, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you see this like step and repeat happening because of mm -hmm. the roller. Yeah. You want to see what it feels like? <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, you're welcome to. We're just going to, I think we're just going to like push across here. Okay. I don't want to ruin Laura's favorite area. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love like all of these areas. I feel our graphic. It's mm. when you get to here. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, it starts to get like a little yeah. muddy, a little blurred. I'm scared to like say paint more or less because I feel like I'm <laughs> gonna ruin it, so I'm gonna let you do. <laughs> We'll take the pieces and we work with a scanner in Midtown who can scan such large scale works. and then it's sent to our mill in Italy, Gentili, and they begin recreating it. I always work with my friend and a florist, and he's also a great designer, York, who always creates beautiful floral arrangements for us. Maybe I need a bigger brush. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah, because I, I want to keep some of the flower element, but like making it look marbleized. And we can try embroidery and printing it. I'm thinking it's going to be like a here to there. Yeah. And Fernando will send this to India to get it embroidered and then Fernando can do more like 3D version of it, so the, his flowers can be 3D where it's not marbleized. A lot of texture. Yeah. I looked into a traditional Turkish way of marbleizing, and we found an artist in Idaho that combined our vision of flowers and Ebru marbleizing. The art of Ebru, also known as water marbling, involves using a tray of thickened water. It's thickened with a seaweed extract called carrageenan. We started with several different floral motifs, then moved into doing some tweaking, changing colors, changing the designs until we landed on the tulip and carnation designs. Well, that's cute. It's like a little mint leaf almost. Yeah, well, I need to like flop it so it doesn't look like a repeat. Mm -hmm. I think more than anything, I, I want to appreciate the negative space much more. So it's like, I would double the white mm -hmm. border. Laura Kim will have her team send me through whatever it is she's decided to go with for the season. Like, for example, this season is hibiscus. Never really drawn a hibiscus before, so it's interesting. We work with Melanie every season for the last two, three years. Well, the first design I did was in 2021 and I've been working with them ever since. Once they've approved everything, and I never know when it's going to be the last one because I send them what I've done that day and then they might say, okay, that's great, but let's do some extra leaves or buds. And when they know they've got enough and they'll say, okay, I can go to the photographers now. Yeah, I'm going to come up with 
you can see like these are some like the super initial paintings we did. You can see also like her some of her sketches that were under there that we asked her to revise along the way. Today we have a meeting with Laura and Fernando to present them suggested silhouettes and embroideries. Each designer is responsible for uh, interpreting the vision of the collection and presenting their ideas. Some of the body silhouettes mm -hmm. that we were into, um, obviously there's a million options. I wonder what happens if we squish the artwork, like 50% maybe? I think this is pretty. Yeah, they could probably print this on a fabric by next week, right? If we send today and give them kind of direction about scale and stuff, I think at least we could push them to have initial strike offs for you to review. Is it crazy to do this in like leather? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando and I have very different aesthetic. This could be fun. No, that looks like someone losing hair. But, <laughs> but <laughs> I think that makes us very balanced. He's a very different personality to mine and he has different tastes, and I think it's good to see the other side every day. I'm actually just into this. Okay. So we supposed to Throughout play? the collection development, we check on each other's ideas and experiments. I understand the route she's taking, she sees the route I'm taking. We divide and conquer. Once Laura has given like the ground work, we get working on developing embroideries that relate to the prints. The idea was to try to make it go a little bit 3D with the petals mm -hmm. and cool. having some petals yeah, like it as if they're falling off. And then this is the leather. Well, I like the messy at the flower I, one. I said the same thing. Yeah. And I said, let's try doing colors. So I wanted to make sure we're still into it before going. I like in like that. This. But okay. I like how you like made it messy. Okay. So then, do you see this He's in like, like a... I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't finish the slot. Is that what happened? <laughs> That's very much what happened. <laughs> Supporting Fernando, Simon, and Shuka in embroideries for evening wear and VIP and special projects. A lot of it has to do with kind of translating Fernando's ideas, what his inspirations are. So these were placements with the fern idea. We were talking with Fernando that you wanted to do it more thread work than sequence. Yeah, it's a lot already. I think it would be really beautiful to have this skirt be just thread. Mm -hmm. I want to do a T length with a little swing, mm -hmm. and then the 3Ds are at the top. But I don't like the the color value of the swatch that he's been using. And let's get the stripes. Yeah. Okay. Is there another flower that Laura's doing? We have poppies. poppies. We have figs and grapes. Um, we have tools. Oh, how's your grape swatch going? I haven't seen anything yet. We did. We launched it last week. Funny yeah. enough, Juliana's much um, nicer to me than Laura. What? I'm very nice. I'm so Midwestern. What do you mean? I know, but you're like, you come with your calendar. <laughs> so Juliana is um, the director of R&D, and she is on maternity leave right now. I wonder if it's an issue for timing, if we could even get like a soap from somewhere. I have to do a little research. Figuring things out on my own and managing the many different, many, many different aspects of this um, for the first time by myself. The only thing we want to talk about was just calendar in general. So you are here mm -hmm. and we're just, you know, we don't, haven't seen any strike offs or finished any artwork yet. So we're just getting quite tight. We're still in way better shape than last year. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, that makes you feel... Yeah, the last pre fall was like the season from hell. So. <laughs> okay, so then if you are looking at artwork and finalizing here and we start rushing out strike-offs here, hopefully we would yeah. by here have that and you would just be doing tying up loose ends so that they're shipping it.
the exciting group when we develop with Shanaka, the leather canvas, all the technique is beautiful, and I think it's very on brand. Keep the waistline perfect. Three inches up and down. Yes. Screw everything else up. I need some moves. Sorry. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Renuka, how are you? All right, I'm just waiting for Fernando to hop on. Hi, Fernando. Okay, perfect. Okay, love Pesh. We have three pieces in the collection that are a rich thread work. The first one we went over, but it's this really rich blue. The prints that Laura worked on, the marbleized multicolor flower, we think that that's a beautiful print and it translated really well into your threadwork swatch. Yes, yes. However, remove all of the orange, okay. a lot of the green, so that at the end of the day, we have a dress that's going from like rich plums and cranberries, degradating to yellows, yeah. and then a little bit of white. Um, that should be everything besides the fern gown, which we're waiting on the pattern for. When we get to it, let's get on a call. I would like to see, you know, I know we're asking for a lot to have frames ready for when I'm there next week. As long as we can see the beginning or halfway through of these pieces, it would be beautiful to capture. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this isn't the caftan that I liked. Where's Chuka? Chuka. I like these leather flowers that he found. We're working with India to see if they can replicate it. Uh, we'll look at it when we're there. If they can't, we have a problem. We're one month away from the collection being shot. What we do uh, is to make sure that maybe if we pivot something, uh, we pivot with the pattern that they have here in India. Fernando, nice to meet you. <laughs> this is the swatch that yes. we found in New York City that inspired right. Laura and it's me. It's beautiful. It's your swatch. Yes. For our eye, it was fresh to see right. this, like, Slightly, inconsistency. Yeah. Like, it's falling apart. Like, it's old. It feels more organic. Right. So that inspired us to do the sketches to feel that way. So I think that we're at the perfect stage right it now. It is. It is the perfect to, time to walk out. To just out. move up and down yeah a half an inch on the sides everywhere. Uh, uh, but I want it to be really stable around the waist. Yeah. So a yeah. very organized around right. the and waist. Then, yeah. And then warp it. Right. And go crazy, like the sketches. That's actually super interesting. Unko waist mein aisa chahiye, perfect. Aur fir baad mein unko thoda movement chahiye. Uh, for this collection, we are using yeah. these three colors. So there is golden, there is the fern green, oh, and I the black. I love this. So that's going to be great. Yeah, I think if we have these three colors, quite yeah. honestly, I don't think we need a third one. I didn't know you had ah, this. we do have the gold. This is yes. beautiful. And some of them can stop. They don't all have to go from the beginning right. of one right. side to the other. Ah, so you can add it as an interrupted yeah. weft, yeah. a new weft. Yeah. My mother started this business 42 years ago, and uh, she actually did a beautiful dress, a gown for Oscar de la Renta, when he was the designer for Balmain in Paris. And we actually got credit for that dress 42 years ago. So it's come full circle, and we really value the partnership. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So our aim is to at least show you the base embroidery by tomorrow, 
majority of the panel uh -huh. so you can actually see how it's going to look like visually right and then we'll start adding the fringes on top of that these fringes are going to be just added additional on the top and the okay. fringes which you have approved for with us yeah, it's already in the... dyeing and okay. the finishings so this okay. is a room where the magic happens this is what we call our creative studio it's a swatch swatching room this is where the initial idea is born it either comes from Simon and the design team, and we are constantly innovating ourselves. We have a whole team here of designers that are working constantly on ideas. Because we work so long with Oscar, we've understood the DNA of the exactly. brand. So, you know, it's, we know that, okay, this is what they usually like it in, with these stones or with this thread box. Exactly. So we like to generate several ideas to present. Oh, wow. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, so that's colors. the new fringes. Are you, he's gonna be okay. Adding the fringes, <laughs> it's not, it's not an issue. Okay, that's good. Can I see the pale yellow? I think you should do... This less and this more. Correct. Yeah, correct. Okay. I want this to eventually look like the CAD. Okay. And feel like it's three colors that dominate. This orange, this navy, and this sort of lilac okay. are the three colors. Okay. Which is what we have here. Okay. Your, your first swatch was more successful. Okay. I think we had spoken about giving more yeah. of a marble effect. Everything here feels very wide. I think we gave you um, too many instructions and I went mm. in a, to a direction that, that, um, that is no longer as good as yeah. the original. I think we don't have time to, yeah, to perfect mean, this. The flowers actually really I cute, like the though, flowers. Yeah. I don't think that we're going to get them marbleizing mm. how you and I want. Um, what I think we should do is take this concept and give it to one of our poppies and have a poppy be like whoosh, fringe as it goes down. Uh, okay. I just want to make everybody alert that the collection is due in exactly a month. Yeah. Okay. That nothing has shipped yet. Uh, and you know how the conversation we have, I can't have every, everything arrive at the yes. same time. So now, I mean, by the time you leave, and I know we, everything needs to be approved, and we need to have a clear deadline. Yeah. If you don't get anything from our end, you need to let me know. Okay. I feel a lot more confident about, about leaving India. And if there's any sort of tweaking that needs to be done, I know the color and technique because I saw yeah. it in person. But also the ability to be able like, to change something from what you did today with a wallflower yeah. and going from that to... I wouldn't have been able to do that in no. New York. In Marble flower yeah. was a fail and we were able to pivot because we were here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what everybody else is doing right now. Italy, you mean? Yeah, Italy and Laura and Hannah and Deja. I, I wonder excuse. what the world are like right now. Tele Moscon is a company born in uh, Como, it's one of the youngest companies in this territory, which is really the center of the world uh, for uh, silk uh, and uh, special printing heritage. Uh, we have more than uh, two centuries uh, heritage uh, in the technique of the silk printing, weaving, spinning. Everything starts from, uh, from this room. I uh, have more than uh, 1,500 books, uh, which are uh, 120, 150 years old. Uh, I think it's the favorite room of Laura. It is my favorite. Starting uh, working. Uh, <laughs> 
Henna and I do most of the work that comes out of Italy, like fabric, daywear. <laughs> Francesco, I don't know if you're a model, hi. I know, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I like to try. <laughs> this one does look a little short. It's a bit. Yeah. Should longer a little bit. I know, maybe it should be a little bit longer. Like 10 inches? Because mm -hmm. you would think from here to fabric will just like be perfect, but then we probably have to do like four trials. Oh, we have to try, we have to try, you know, it might change it. Might I know, be it more, reacts uh, differently. Be correctly in the different technique, but uh, we will handle. Uh, well, we're halfway there. I had the pleasure uh, to, to work uh, with Mr. De La Renta directly and to learn uh, from him uh, uh, the sense of beauty. We are very committed to have uh, the best uh, material, uh, to have the best uh, way of producing, uh, achieving a product uh, which is uh, beautiful, uh, not only from a creative point of view, but also from, uh, from an industrial uh, and for an environment uh, point of view. This is the design studio, really, where uh, we have uh, Giampiero, which is drawing uh, the design uh, following the specific uh, that uh, Laura gave uh, to us. When the design is painted, then uh, the team uh, takes it uh, on the computer, then uh, we make uh, the layout. Uh, it might be used for uh, fabric printed, uh, jacquard, uh, hand dyed, uh, scarves, bags, coat. Uh. When everything starts from the hand, uh, at the end, uh, you feel also on the final product uh, that there is uh, something special uh, on it. This is the, the sequence. Can we take it mm -hmm. All different yarns. Mm -hmm. This is my family. Yeah. This is all my grandchildren. I have a, 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 a very, very beautiful picture of Oscar with Naomi. Di loro, tutti molto bravi, evidentemente. Um, mi ha dato qualcosa. Intanto mi sono calata subito nel, 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 nei programmi, nel modo di lavorare di Oscar. E, e, e c'è stata una, una collaborazione subito molto molto bella, soprattutto il mio rapporto diretto con Oscar. This is the jacquard, mm -hmm. the multicolor jacquard. This is the uh, layout mm -hmm. you want, but the colors is not correct, yeah. you know. And also the style because we have to add the a little short sleeve. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But the jacquard is really beautiful. Yeah. I work with Fimpeco every season to bring sequins and prints and jacquards to life. This is this is easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, easy. Per modo di dire, perché yes. sempre tre fiori da teccare. I know, eh? I know. Però è un lavoro normale. This is ec eccezionale, non è possibile. Well, Safe, cancel. We will we'll figure it out in the end. Knitwear really is like fabric and design. So we start from the ground with yarn, with a stitch, and then we really grow into a style. Some of them are a bit of a repeat style, but a lot of it is sort of new, new jacquards, new stitches, new techniques. Devo sempre lottare col tempo, the time. Il tempo è sempre piccolo, 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 e si riduce sempre. I'm going to be honest, mm -hmm. I'm super concerned about, about so, Zachary not having the patterns mm -hmm. for a lot of these styles. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. we already, what day is it? Second. Today? The second. There's things that Fernando just launched. 
So that's where you get worried. And I had a conversation with him. I'm going to have another one. It's like now we can't launch anything anymore. It has to be, we need to focus on what we have. So. This one's the carnation one. It's actually really sweet. Yeah, so I don't. Sales approach you about that? No. Okay. Not they saw it in my like knit development deck and they're like, wait, wait, what is that? That's so Christmas. I haven't responded to any of the decks. I've received or sent mm -hmm. them, so. Everything leading up to what we call market, when we actually selling the collection to our customers, uh, our stores, we have a lot of meetings with our sales department, with the merchandisers, with production. We address any issue that there is on a piece, the costing, how it's made, where it's going to be made. We try to find solutions uh, to reach better prices. We really work across departments on, uh, on that, and we, yes, there's a lot of arguments. Uh, during those uh, during those meetings and a disagreement on what something should cost and uh, how it should be made and all of that. I don't think that we're going to kill things just to kill things. They're all good yeah. styles. Yeah. yeah, but that's what this meeting's for. Like, I'm not trying to kill your dresses. So just for you to know, this and this are the same, but then Fernando had asked to see swatches a gold version. A, a gold version. Yeah. So, because we had spoken that the, they might split booking. No, oh, not. okay. For okay. replacement. So, yeah. I don't think that they split at all. They're a story. Okay. okay. Both. This is the fringe bright blue, and this is sequin burgundy. The in between, the daughter of the two of these, is a burgundy thread. But do we so think we need all three of them? No, we don't I need don't all know. three. So maybe we don't need all three. Yeah, I think it's too much. Yeah. So, so in design, we will develop a style a certain way and then our sales team will request a more commercial version. That doesn't mean we cancel the pieces that we develop. It's a tricky balance for sure. I think that, you know, for me, I always support the design team in terms of how do we move the brand forward? How are we pushing the envelope a little bit and trying to bridge, you know, commercial, contemporary saleability, but also with some kind of you know, message from the brand, some kind of essence of Laura and Fernando. This thread, like you literally promised Alex, like, you'll stop with the fringes. And There's, like all I see is fringe. There's three, I know the chart is misleading. And this, this is, is not a silk fringe. thread? Yeah. So it's gonna tangle no, like the, crazy. The tangling we saw as much, it doesn't tangle. Uh, there are basically I wanna write dresses. down things you have to address with them. You have three fringe long. Tangle. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> okay, on this page, everything is silk. I would like to see pictures in these meetings. Like, what is this, like, chicken doodles? Like, what am I canceling? You guys have to pull up photos. I'm not working this way. That's a terrible picture. I don't think we need both. We don't have this crazy skirt. So, can we but pick we don't one? Need it. No, but we don't need to have it, because we do have a lot, so I'm fine to cancel it. Okay, so let's cancel that skirt. Did you go over Hannah's cocktails as well? I, I so did not find this... her to confirm what she's editing, but I did tell her she does need to edit. So she hasn't edited. She has not. Who? Hannah. Hannah. Wait, what is this like? Like I could have done this on the radio. No images. What the hell is going on? <laughs> radio. That's such a lovely. <laughs> we keep the coat. I'm. That, that's my least favorite. Yeah. I'll do a cocktail dress in a gown. Can we just like pick our battles with the three we have? Fine. No, I understand that we're over. Taylor, you're ninety percent overall. <laughs> well, to to quote. I said I will give you a no, few more. To... Laura, kind of like cocktail. <laughs> one captain, one coat, and two skirts. Uh, one plus okay. one equals zero. I'm like, what is this math? <laughs> well, we took one out, and then we added one. Oh. Do we turn? I'm like, I know you guys are creative. Do we turn? So high consumption. Hmm. But it's sequel, so it should be it's even more expensive. Do you have a, a train to catch? <laughs> I'm like, Laura, make another note. <laughs> He's a bunny bowl. He's a bunny bowl. This is a, a pretty final version of what we are printing and what will be used on bodies. Um, for the collection, the marbling artists, Jennifer, I'm very excited. They're executing really well in strike offs. Very excited to see them on bodies. Oh, oh that's, right. that's a circle skirt? Yeah. Can I have this one for my apartment, please? <laughs> what do you see doing with this? Cool. Right. Little shaped dress. 
is this something that will be part of the collection? Yes. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. And we order yeah. like pinstripe, like, like all, so it looks like Oscar clothes, <laughs> like himself. <laughs> Our prints are normally the last fabrications to arrive. It's like a massive workload to launch all of these styles. So, and then that's kind of it. But then when I go to Italy, when the fabrics come in, sometimes we have to like alter the, so that they can see their entire line. They get an idea of how many pieces they need to sew. Maybe we can add more I think so. here. I think we need to add. Print placements are really important both for design and to help reduce fabric waste. So I think we can still follow my original placement, this section, and then maybe this is more the back, and this is the top. Can we shift, is it possible to like shift up a tiny bit? Because this is also nice. So we get more of this. As long as I have a bit of orange on the other side, This section is very dull compared. Maybe it's just me. Do you find it a bit muddy? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. I don't think I can get Gentile. Unless, are you able to call them and ask? To make it brighter? <laughs> Ciao. Si. Se fosse possibile eh, fare la stampa un pochettino più brillante come è venuto nelle... Ciao. He will talk to Giulia and Elisabetta. They will make some trial and send to you. I still want to make sure that they're rushing the long panel. Okay. But in the meantime, I want you... I've just sent you the cut ticket. I want you to cut in the AVM, okay. the same dress. Thank you. This factory opened in 1985. They've been working with Oscar since. They are our closest partners. They produce a lot of our day wares, dresses, jackets, pants. And to me, they're like part of our family. Hi, Andrea. Hey. <laughs> It's so good to see you. Ciao. How are you? I'm good. Ciao. Wow, our fabric's here. Yeah, yeah you see? Well, I guess it's due soon. <laughs> so I joined in 1989, and then I'm still here. <laughs> and now I'm running the company. And Oscar is always here, and this, I mean, I feel like part of the Oscar family, honestly. So we are at almost the end of the collection. We got our fabrics in. It comes in literally like two weeks before it's due. So they have to pump out like hundreds of, hundreds of samples in like week and a half. Cut a top out of this. Okay. And then a skirt. We are supposed to be editing, but sometimes when we see the fabrics, we get inspired and we end up adding a few more pieces. Do we add a cocktail dress strapless? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the challenge is always the same. It's the short timing that we have because uh, we started to receive the fabrics uh, now practically and uh, we have like 10 days to complete the, the collections. Oscar has always quality, colors, prints, beautiful shapes. When I think at Oscar, I think of Trey.
you see things are styled together, you like see how they like layer and how they interact with each other. And then it's so different seeing things in like a picture and then seeing it on the form and on the bottom. It's gonna look really nice right now. It's just, you know, it's all apart, but I think the quality of the product is really nice. Um, let's see how they're gonna assemble it. I think let's pass it to Zaza quickly before a meeting. So now it needs to be checked against the pattern that we were sent. So to make sure that the pieces match the pattern that we have sent to India. That's the first step before we start sewing. Mina, you don't need to change. Grace will change in and you keep sewing, okay? Thank you. Let me see. Uh, <gasps> oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Forget about cost, Simon. <laughs> okay, but this is my favorite panel, I think, in the entire. Well, you can't afford it. Look at, oh look at, look at. Oh my goodness, Ooh, she's so beautiful. Right? Come on. So she's gonna need a little time to just check that everything is here. Once that happens, she lays it out on a pattern. She's gonna put it on a board and stretch it out to make sure that like everything matches the pattern. So, but the embroidery looks like it matches. Right, it's maybe like half an inch off or a quarter inch off, right, Keiko? Yeah. Yeah. I love working with Zaza though because it's like you know exactly where you stand with her and what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. She's not the type to like, you know, sugarcoat, sugarcoat anything, good and bad. And so when you do a good job, she will let you know. And when you do, when you mess up and when you don't listen to her, then, you know, she'll also let you know. That um, really is the room you guys ought to be in. Zaza I know, if you want high drama, it's like... personality. Keep sewing and then we're just gonna cut out the petticoat. I might not even need this because it's all leather. It's like boning. So can I see it without it? Sew the top. The ladies have been here longer than I have, and they all know each other for years. They've been working here forever. I mean, they were here when Oscar was here. Look how fast you are. On fire. You on fire. Next. It takes a lot of trust. It takes a lot of dedication. The reality is the turnaround time for us, it, it has to be quick, so we're all pretty good with problem solving in here. We're not here for a social event. We're here to work. Let's go. Open up these two figs first. I think they look gorgeous. <laughs> I think they're, yeah, they're really pretty. This um, print in this colorway is really important. Everyone's very excited about this sage color. I might actually go and pull my reference for something. I don't recall this in the original. It might have been there. I just need to pull this out and see if this lightning actually is there. I think it's like a minor issue. So, I'll show it to her. Oh my God. Let's take it off. Should we put the underskirt on or just let them see it first? Jesus. Oh, my sunglasses. <laughs> Did you put the second petticoat on it? Put it on. Like this, right? And I blend it. So how, but you're going to cut it to be the same one. How wide should it be? So, so you want more serious? Wait, how do you want it cut? Because the once same. I cut the same? Yeah, cut. because I don't want it, I think you can add, how many branches do you have? A dozen. A dozen? Oh, Alex, look. Does it look weird? I mean, maybe it has to be. 
it looks like like this is the center of the embroidery, but it should be more. I don't yeah. know. You know what I mean? We need more. And how much you want to cut shorter? Two inches. You want to leave it at two inches? Okay. I think it's cool and worth and worth pursuing. Yeah. I think that what my but I don't get is like this the fact that it falls apart at the bottom. Is that intentional? It, it looks like it's too falling apart. Yeah, this is long because they don't know what length we want, etc. So, yeah. Imagining this smaller and all over, can they help me do a repeat there? So we are all on the fence here. What do you think? I never liked this, I still don't like it. Okay. She kind of looks like a footstool. I thought it could be useful to have a short fringe moment, but it's just not there yet. What do you think? Dead? Yeah. You told me this is amazing. No, I didn't. You did. I said to kill it, and you and Simon said it's amazing. You were there, too. I remember you saying it. So we're killing it? Yeah. Yes. You know, you never know till the day of, honestly. Yeah, because in my head, I always have a vision of something, but then at the end, it doesn't turn out. And something else just looks really fresh and new. She's pretty. We have to even out the hair, no? Well, this, this one was irregular. Oh, it's meant to be irregular? Yeah. It, I mean, no, it wasn't, but whatever. It's fine. We can figure out a way to... Don't you think it's, like, more modern to be T-Lang? This is not chukka scissor. Is it? Yeah. I'm leaving for Milan tomorrow to hand carry a number of last minute styles from the factories. I'll be leaving the 26th and then I land on the 27th and then I fly out at 9 a.m. on the 28th. I land, I'm there for a few hours, and then I'm on the next flight back in the morning, and we go straight to the office to do a late night fitting with the team. I'm gonna, Sharon, would you take How many pieces her? did you get? Um, it was like 40, yeah. That's a lot. 40-ish. <laughs> Just, just I love the yeah. back of this. Pretty. She's great. Cute. Wow. Wow. How beautiful. Don't you love our dress? It's like, wow. It was yeah. Yeah. It's actually very nice. I like your touch with the bliss on sleeve. It's like the perfect <laughs> collaboration, you know? I'm pretty. And just was, In like, there. it wasn't painful. <laughs> OK. So, but it, you know. Trust the French. <laughs> Food and wine. Let me tie your back. That's really good. Pretty. Um, like the back looks fresher than the front. So you should put middle of navy here. Okay. We recut in the silk. Nice. But I'm wondering, should we take the sleeves off and it's just like a long. I like like sheets? You like the sleeves? Mm -hmm. Is this a short dress? It's a lot of fabric, no? I've had like two glasses of wine now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> he has, yeah. Cute. Oh, cute. You okay. can see more legs. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this. So we do this one and then we are good. Okay? Thank you. My name is Delphine Danier. I'm a fashion editor. I've been working with Oscar de la Renta for two years. 
that I'm working with the casting, editing the collection, styling. But it will be like much longer. Okay. Okay. Let's just take a picture. We also have like the check with like the lace. I think the whole team is very excited to understand what the focus of the whole collection is going to be through the lens of, uh, of a stylist who knows us very well and uh, can interpret for us what the pillars of this story we're telling this season are. And then we have a pink sister cocktail. Let me, let me look at the bow. There's a lot in pink. I think it's sexier with that. Yeah. I agree. Just to be modest, an inch. It's a good little <laughs> pop of color. <laughs> Do we need to chop that little tail? Yeah. You still want the triangle? Yeah. But moved up? Yeah. I have to sew this. Otherwise, no matter what, it's going to ship. Okay. Can you turn around? She's not done. Do you want one flower in the back? Mm, no. no. But the slim one is newer looking, right? I think so. Yeah. Fernando, can you participate in your fitting? Yeah. I mean, there's so much to fix here. Or you just want to tack, tack it. Tack it, yeah. Right? Just tack it under Where? the bust a little bit. Under the bust. Like, she doesn't have embroidery on the most important part of yeah. her dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can I bring it up. I find that very strange. You want to bring it up? Yeah, I think we have to bring up at least two inches. Mm -hmm. I think well, that's that, nice. I get it. But I do want the, the message of Poppy to not be, like, dispersed everywhere. OK. Mm. Like, I think it's a gorgeous print. Mm. And if we yeah. scatter it, it's, it loses its, like, power. I mean, I, I prefer this. Gosh, is the red Poppy going to die? And, like, it's so good without it. Maybe we don't need it. Maybe we don't need the red Poppy. I think it's fine. Where's Chuka's dress? You see? I saw that. Yeah, uh, it's, you know, we saw it. It's happening. No, I saw it a week ago. Yeah. Right. Can we see it now? Uh, please. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah. I need like one hour. That was the most work, having to move this over one and a half inches. Beautiful. Do you want to change it? Yeah, I want you to move it back. <laughs> I love it. I got a job because of change. <laughs> if you can do the back for me, that'd be fantastic. So, I mean, now, now there's too many. Yeah. Do we like that, or do we like that? Can we have tie with, like, maybe, yes. like, four layers without being stitched? And a feathery mm -hmm. like this? Yeah. Okay. It might get mm -hmm. too much fabric, no? So you can do same but yeah, with like here because uh -huh. you're folding it and right. stitching it. And, and then, then just release yeah. it when we come down yeah. here, double the yeah. amount, and then this Take is fold your edge mm -hmm. and I keep this stitch. Yeah. OK, great. Take her down. Yes. This bottom row you can take. It don't go in the machine. Oh, I forgot like to my beer. That's it. Don't put it in the machine yet. I'm waiting for my beer. Just kidding. And then we're going to do a top stitching, quarter inch, all the way around everywhere, OK? I'd like to see this. That's a softer. Like see this. Let's do two more, please. Wait, Laura, you haven't seen this one yet. Love it. <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Michelin Man goes to the Studio 54. That's awesome. We can maybe definitely go a little smaller here. So that's it, right? Yeah. So I think it looks good. I think it looks good. What's my call time? We're finally here. I think that it is an exciting day because everything comes together. It has boiled down to this. Capturing it today with the final batch of artists that we collaborate with, like the photographer, Ethan, and the makeup team, and the models. But wait, I don't think, do we have the blouse for this? You're optimistic. Yeah. And if we have time, we shoot like the two last one.
I think we have to shoot those uh, our sales team really believes in this glass. We can't mess one up there. So we have one girl on set now and okay. then we really need to get rolling. We're on a time crunch, you know that, right? Do you like it or not? Do you think it's too much or you like it? I don't mind it. Yes, I think okay. we should close it. Though. Yes? Okay, let's go on set. We can put the rings on set, please. Nice. Should I worry about fixing the embroidery here? Yeah, yeah. Fix it. Okay. Let's do it. I mean, who knows? Maybe there's time to shoot it. Maria, Maria. Linesi, you want to come on set? Yes. Yeah, yes. So we can change. Thank you, Viviana. Uh, no necklace, please. Yeah, okay. How do we feel? Uh, let me see, Deja. Throw it around. Got you. <laughs> She's shiny. So let's take a picture. Yeah, you look amazing. Thank you. This is your next party look. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Oscar de Lorenzo woman understands that at the end of the day, we're exploring femininity in all of its facets. We are constantly meeting inspirational women who challenge our way of thinking and developing new ideas to make them feel like we can always create something new for their closet and their lives. Fernando, let's start fall. All right, what you got? I got all of it. It's great. Golf, jack card, lace. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Yeah. 